Hey guys, Briskin here. My hair might look kind of grilled to you right now, but I don't care. And um, I want to make this video now before um, I procrastinate and decide not to do it. And suddenly I have a big long video again. And I don't want to do that. First of all, working on a Cryptopsy No So Vile shirt. You know, Cryptopsy, one of my favorite bands. Alright, let's get started. Deptones, um, a bamble, but I cannot pronounce Kai no Yakana. Um, I like this album. Um, I think I'm pretty much finished all the Deptones albums I'd like. I know the recent album came out. I actually do love that one, and I would like to get that one too. Um, I like the songs. Songs I like in here. I, I'm not really too familiar with all the songs here. I I know I like um. Swerp City, I think that's pronounced. Uh, Party Guys, Romantic Dreams, Tempest, you know, pretty much all those uh, songs that I could think of in my head right now. Here's the cool little pamphlet, the little artwork that comes with this. Not really my favorite Deftones artwork um, album or album in general, but something we had to live with at this time. Alright. Enough with that. Just the camera. Then, another one is uh, dehumanizing um, a train warp ship. Um, some Giro Grind um, album. Kind of like, kind of a really important album to me, funny enough. Um, um, this is probably what I started getting into, like, like, really extreme metal, like, you know, death metal, this, this is, like, a very extreme death metal, um, obviously it's anime-centric, I'm not a really big anime guy, I just, I remember, I remember this recommend me on YouTube, I was like, huh, it's like an anime death album, and, um, so check it out, and it's actually really good, um, you know, Poodle Rush, Suicide, Happy Holiday, you know, oh, I even like the outro. Usually, intros and outros are something I don't really care about. But the outro, the outro in this um, album is really good. And, yeah. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's pretty good. Now, the one last video, I talk about one of my favorite here albums, which is the top. Here's my number one favorite, Disintegration. Everyone's favorite, should I say. Um, this album gets referenced a lot, you know, movies, shows, you know, like even South Park kind of like a, has a um, Robert Smith, um, had like a little Robert Smith um, cameo, cameo in, that ep in that episode when he, <laughs> yeah, South Park's crazy. But yeah, um, one of the greatest um, golf records too. I've been starting to get into a lot into the golf rock. Um, I see, I'm trying looking at the finds that I like or what I don't like. Um, I love the Cure, like Susan the Banshees. I like um, Bauhaus. Mercy, what was that one? Do, 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 Sister of Mercy, I think it was called. And then yeah, but I started seeing stuff like. Like it's really popular in within the golf community, such as Alien Sex Fiend. That's something I don't really like. That's a, that it probably has to grow on me. But yeah, Cure Integration. I shouldn't say how good that album is. The other one is Limp Bizkit, um, Pacific Other. Um, hopefully, I think this one is a lot better. Um, uh, than do by y'all. It turns the condition of the case. Other one's just terrible. I need to replace that one still. But yeah, um, this is the album that they sell out. Uh, it's not my favorite Limp Bizkit album because they really change up their sound, kind of clean it up a little bit. It's not as raw as three three dollars uh, three dollars bill, y'all. I like that one. I prefer, always preferred that one. Any other Limp Bizkit um, projects that I do like is probably like um, the Questionable Truth, but this one's probably them shifting towards a more mainstream sound and i don't really like you know this one has break stuff it has um rearrange um dookie i did for the dookie come on, the dookie, come on. has the um 
Jonathan Davis and Scott Weiland. I forgot his, <laughs> his last name. Lots of some, some type of fans going to give me up on that. They had did a feature that one of the songs is Nobody Love You. Even Aaron Lewis from Stain. But it's the uh, first kind of helped that band out. So I guess it makes sense that they do a cover cover band and speaking of new metal bands that came out and new number new metal albums that came out in 1999 we got seven dust home not really big seven dust fan of yeah in this cube case kind of went to a fucking breaking down hopefully I mean, they really like to see those things up even though all the little things in there is kind of like missing but it's still city still Never mind, it's not. <laughs> um, yeah, this one, Denial. Um, what are the songs in here? Denial, Hole, Waffle, Waffle, too. I'm not really into looking cream. Grasshopper, no, Grasshopper is pretty much like a little into noob. But yeah, I do like um, this. I like this album. I enjoyed it. I'm, although I not remember the songs, but I'm pretty sure if I listen to uh, the album again, I probably really like pick up some songs I do like. I like this one. I remember listening to Amnesty a, a lot when I was younger, but I went with this one because I think I like this one a lot more better. Next up is speaking of um, Susie and the Banshees. We have Susie and the Banshees, A Kiss in the Dreamhouse. I think I like this album a lot more than. Um, I think I like this album a lot more than Juju, even though Juju is probably considered to be probably the better album because um, it has Spellbound and Arabian Nights. But this one, I think it's a lot more stronger. Um, I just, I think I, I love everything about this album. I try to get you know, lyrics. Uh, she's a carnival. Um, Circles in this one. Da, 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 Oh, and painting birds. Green, green. She has magic in her hands. Oh, Slow Dive is in here, too. It's a really good album. It's really diverse, too. This one even has fireworks uh, in it, too. So that's awesome. Then we're here. We got Kiss. A old 1970s hard rock band. Although this is probably more the punky, uh, more style into it. Um, it's, I would never consider um, Kiss to be a punk band. But, um, but yeah, uh, this is their second album. Um, I, I'm not really a big Kiss fan, but, you know, like, they have some good tunes. You know, they got some good tunes, as some, some old uh, people would say. Um you know, this one has Parasite, Going Blind, uh, Cotter Than Hell, Mainline, Strangling. I I, I think I like the first album better than this one, which is, I have, I have it right here. Um, I like the first album a lot better than the second one. You know, this one has Strutter, um, Nothing to Lose, Firehouse, and Deuce, Diamond, Black Diamond. Um... It's a solid um, debut, and <laughs> this cover is like, I don't know, it, this cover just like looks, oh, I mean like, let's look at Peter Chris. I don't, that paint, that paint just looks weird, and then, I don't know, like, Ace just always looks like he's bored, well, obviously, you know, Gene Seaman and Paul Stanley's there, um, but yeah, here's the book look that's in it. Um, the back. Kiss, one of the biggest bands, really important bands, you know, in metal rock history. You know, inspire a lot of metal metal fans, despite of not being like very heavy. I mean, you hear, you see like these um, death metal people and be like, oh yeah, I used to listen to Kiss. So yeah, then we got Rush moving pictures. I'm not sure. That I had this one in the previous video. I don't think I did. But yeah, um, I like this one. You know, obviously, Tom Sawyer, Limelight, Why by Zed. 
by way Z. You know, some some um but fans apparently take that uh that name seriously. <laughs> um also red red um how do you pronounce it? Red Bar Chinta. Can't pronounce that, but I like every single song in this album. It's one of my favorite Rush albums. Too bad they didn't stuck with this type of style too long. You know, they have permanent waves that which is before this album. And then this album that literally the next album they switch up to a new wave style. Which I'm not a big fan of. I know like some some of my fans would be like, Oh, you like, Oh, it's not that bad but I was like, Well, I don't like it, so you can't tell me why I don't like. What I like or don't like. Another one, Ligon Park, uh, Hybrid Fury. Uh, I have Meteora, I, uh, so I decided to get Hybrid Fury, although I prefer Meteora. Uh, can I say it right? Or am I saying it wrong? Um, I, um, I like that album better because this album just sounds like, uh, kind of sounds dated to me. Like it's, It really sounds like this is what the early 2000s, late 90s sound like, and, you know, obviously, rest, rest in peace, um, Chester Bennington, um, they did have, <laughs> okay, yeah, these books don't have, like, a certain feel and smell to them, um, oh, yeah, and there's, like, some sort of, like, advertisement, you know, I gotta keep it because you know gotta preserve history. Um, uh, this one just doesn't sound that. It sounds really good. You know, obviously this one has paper cuts in the end. I don't really like the end, but it, this uh, it's in here. Um, paper cuts. What's up, closer? Points of authority. Crawling. The meme song. Um, running away be, by myself. It sounds. It's a really solid album. I just prefer other. I've, this is probably my. Number two favorite, like a park album. I oh, know we got Weezer. Everything would be out right in the end. I was looking around albums, and this one was kind of cheap, so I just decided to pick it up. Um, my this is not my favorite Weezer album, but it's one of my favorite Weezer albums. I know a lot of people might point at Pinkerton or um, the Blue album. As their favorite Weezer album, but I, you know, obviously, I would get two dollars when I can. But um, this album is really good. Uh, Back to the Shack, uh, Da Vinci. Um, I have it up to here. It's probably one of my favorite songs. Ain't nobody lonely girl, lonely girl. And then they have like a little like, like kind of prog at the last album, <laughs> the last CD. I mean. Last song, but uh, yeah, it's all release from uh, Weezer, and then Sep Sepper Turtle, Sep Sep Turtle, ba 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 ba. Uh, yeah, my bring bring me rising. This is probably one of their best albums. It combines probably their metalcore with their more uh alternative metal style and i don't want to be i don't want one of those people who be like oh it has both of their styles so it's the best album eh, that, that's, that's to me it's just like if it has good songs and yeah it's okay whatever it has good songs um you know obviously this one does have really good songs you know can you feel my heart shallow moises was in here oh, uh house for wolves sea walking antichrist and this thing starts singing this Go to hell and heaven's sake, yeah. Yeah, this is a solid album. But, the so that's all the CDs I bought, but there's a new addition to my music collection, and I'm really excited about about this addition. I might need to retain, I probably changed how I titled this videos to music collection <laughs> update or something like that because I have bought myself some vinyls. Yes, some vinyls. Um, yeah, they're so. Let's get that in there. Oh, I can see. Um, so Black Sabbath, they debuted. I love this album so much. Um, uh, 
uh, this one has Evil Woman, a stand of wick, uh, Wicked World. Um, I, I'm wondering if there's a this edition out there that has both Evil Woman and Wicked World. If there is, I will be interested in that. But uh, I love this album so much. Uh, I listen to it pretty much almost a lot, every single day, if not every day. And I be one of Black Sabbath's best songs ever. And yeah, uh, I got it on CD, so I got to get it on vinyl. The next one I got in vinyl will be Forbidden Evil, or Forbidden Forbidden Evil. Um, trash band, you know, trash metal band. Got their, pretty much all of these artists have CDs for. Um, I love this album, you know, I'm off the edge, feel no pain, chalice of blood, march into fire, and do the lights of glass, you know, like, I love this album so much, I think, like, most of, most albums I'm gonna get for vinyl, it's gonna be one of my favorite albums, so, yes, you know, vinyl's a little more, a little more pricey, and then, and I have the um, Cryptopsy shirt on. We have the Cryptopsy uh, vinyl. I have it on sleeve because it came like that. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep it in the sleeve. But yes, uh, Cryptopsy non so vile. I love Cryptopsy so much, and you know, non so vile's gotta be like the um the. It's the Cryptoxy album <laughs> besides um, um, Blasphemy Beat Flesh. Um, after this, you know, Lord Worm left and then Mike came in to did vocals um, with, you know, the Whisper, um, some Supremacy. But yeah, so solid album. Good album. Love it so much. Next one gonna be corn untouchables this one is a double disc um uh, it's really good um love this album care to stay blame um hollow life make it good you know like almost all these songs you know although my break and dotless are the um uh are the um singles in his album it's, um this is a really good album. It's really underrated. A lot of people always point out that they viewed um, Issues and Follow the Leader as greatest coin album. You know, give this one a try. It might be too long, but you might see some tracks that you might like. And then we got Ghost Mediara. And there's something really cool about this one. You know, good artwork and stuff. But... This one is the transparent amber green, whatever color this is, um, color. So yeah, that's nice. I love this album so much. I, um, I see every song I like it. The one more song I don't care about is Majesty. I think Double Shirt should be with Sir Cerise. But in the end of that perfect album. Amazing masterpiece. I think it's one of the best albums in 2010s. And then lastly, we got Tala the Drifty. I love. I like this band. You know, I got the EP and then the debut and CD. This one is the red. Um, it's a red. It's called vinyl disc. <laughs> and <yeah. laughs> but um. This, you know, if you guys have a listen to him, get it on. It's the son of Mike Pointnoid, um, and he plays the drums. Singer, um, Justin Bonnet, you know, from Hungry Lights. Um, so, really good album. You should, guys, should give it a try if you have it. Here's it. So, that's everything. Um, and, yeah, I guess that's everything. I guess I would just show off this, you know, with this corn issue off that a friend gave me, or a 
form of friend. We're not friends anymore. But I still like this doll. Coin issues. <laughs> um, forgot. What, I gave him a name. I forgot what it was. I think it was like Raggedy Kid or something like that. Anyway, so yeah, that's everything. There you guys. Bye.